Hey guys, welcome back. Using a data set from Kaggle, which I'm going to show you and we're gonna dive into the code later, we're gonna build this Streamlit app and deploy it. Here's the thing, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it all and in the code and everything. Um, as you can see, this selects the chapter, the verse, and then the book of the Bible. If you guys aren't familiar with the Bible, uh, it's very allegorical, however, I got it to work. We're going to do a little feature engineering when we get down to the notebook. So basically, um, basically, I'm going to combine the chapter, the verse, and the book, and it's going to return that from the description of the Bible verse using cozy and similarity. Okay, as you can see, and it's going to recommend, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to pass that parameter to show how many you want it, you you're willing to let it recommend. Okay. And then uh, let's make another prediction. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, as I was talking about, uh, we're going to download this data set. You guys see we're going to use this CSV thing. There's the text, the Bible verses, right? We're going to combine these three columns because it goes by book, chapter, and verse, right? We're going to combine them so it's going to return that, just like so you can see. You know, chapter 1... Verse 1, Book of Mark. You see? Okay, now let's dive into the code. Okay, import these libraries. Unzip it here or unzip it outside. Read it, error bad lines equals false engine Python. Error bad lines equals false always, so it skips over a bad line. There's the info, drop in A's. Look at the Bible verses, the text of the head. Okay, and then here's where we're going to do a little feature engineering. The new column is going to be chapter, as a string, as a string, as a string, the book and the verse. You guys can uh, put that out of order if you want. However, I don't recommend it. The TDI of vectorizer. Since this is not in English, we don't do stop words equals English. DF1 text, DF1 text, fill in A. Transform text, the matrix shape. Sigmoid kernel. This is just to see whether it works because we're going to do this again on the GitHub. Okay. Get recommendations title. Cosine sim equals cosine sim. You see? Indices of the title. Enumerate. Cosine sim. Return the new column for I and sim scores. Here's where you can change it to see how many on the GitHub that you want it to return. Change that right there. Okay. Reverse always equals true. And key equals lambda. Okay. And then uh, put that into a data frame. And then that's just to see if it works. Revelations. Last book of the Bible. Okay. New one to CSV. Save it to CSV. And then dump the Bible list. You can do uh, pickle uh, two if you want. And you guys can just use the model if you guys know how to do that. Um, rather than just uh, do the recommender system here, I'll just show you guys. Okay. So as you can see, what I was talking about is we're going to do that again over here, but that was to see if it works. Okay. Cosine sim equals cosine sim. All of that right over here. We're going to do all of that except for the feature engineering because we're going to import that new data. Um frame we created. And we're going to read it the same way. So basically all that right over here. Here's where you want the header to see what it reads. And here's the Bible list. Remember that CSV pickle we made? Okay, and then the new column, dot values, select box, show recommendations, select verse. Here we go. Get recommendations. Here, let me put this out of the way. 
Okay, the verse list. Data.values, the verse list. Get recommendations, remember? And then the subheader and the information. Okay. Now, uh, we need, but we're going to skip ahead. Here is how you guys can deploy it. Let's say I want to deploy another one from an existing repo, the one I already have. Let me just select it. Bible verse recommender, app.py. It already pretty much picks it out for you. Basically, this right here, the only difference is I already got it deployed, so I can't deploy another one. That's just to show you guys how easy it is. I already got another one. You see, I can't deploy the same one, so. Um, but you guys know how to do that now. See my, some of my other videos for other Streamlit apps. I've got all kinds of stuff. SageMaker, Pipelines, you name it. Check out my channel. There's probably something you need if you're watching it right now. Okay. The Bible is pickled. The new CSV, you remember the ones that's got to read? Here's your setup sh file. You guys might have to do this always on other platforms. Okay. And back to the app.py. Okay, remember, read that file, transform the text, so enumerate. Remember all that stuff we did over here? We're going to do all that. Because the get recommendations, remember, of the selected verse, remember, of that thing we created earlier and we committed to GitHub? You guys should know how to commit to GitHub. You guys can either do it on the command line or upload it. It's up to you. Anyways, guys, like I said, uh, check out my channel. I've got all kinds of stuff from convolutional neural networks to image classification uh, apps to uh, just basic recommendation systems, no deployment, SageMaker, MLOps, pipelines, just regular SageMaker deployments. You name it, I pretty much got it. Check out my channel, GCP, Azure Deployments. Using AutoML. Um, you're watching my channel right now. There's a pretty good chance I got something you need. Now, uh, one thing I neglected is I think we're going to go back to AWS SageMaker because um, I haven't gotten around to doing the image classification apps, even though I've done so much SageMaker. And mark my words, we are going to get around to it. Uh, MLOps deployment on Google Cloud using KServe, most likely, not Kubeflow. Anyways, guys, be sure to hit like and subscribe and share. And leave a comment if you guys need any help or rewatch my video, parts of it. Feel free. And you guys don't have to exactly copy me. You guys can implement some of my videos for your own data sets, tweak the code for your own data sets, apply it, build on it, make it your own, you know? Um, just use this as a building block or apply as needed. Or you just uh, didn't know how to do a certain thing. Well, and I also wanted to share with you guys, I got a... Um, Sit, um, I got a neural translation machine. Eventually, I'm going to deploy one of those as an AI web app, eventually. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and share. Bye.